Go away. Stop your mama. <laughs> Malcolm! Hey, yo, Malcolm! What's up, my nigga? I'm here, Kev! What's up, my nigga? I'm here. Oh! Oh, shit. Why you want was in the moon? Fuck around, acting brand new. God damn, this bitch too tight. Malcolm, what's up, my nigga? I'm here, cut. <laughs> hey, Badil, Imandi, what's going on, guys? And welcome. I always say welcome back, bro. Welcome to Supernatural. Basically, Haunted House White Edition. Oh, shit! Megan got fucked up! If the game doesn't pick up... If the game doesn't pick up sounds from your microphone or doesn't detect it, restart the game before you begin... Ah, we're not about to do all that. Can you help me? Is anyone here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Show yourself. Go. I sure as fuck ain't saying that one. I tell you that. Go away. Yep, that's me. Right there. That's the one I'm saying. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What do you want? What do you want? Uh, what do you want? Please! Detective Wyatt, man. I can't believe I'm talking. Is this a nigga? I Why did I say that? Fan of your work, especially that Sakamoto case. <laughs> The way you cracked it was pure genius. Brother, why are you living in a haunt? It's legendary. And that's why I knew you were the right person to reach out to. I've got this strange situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night. Well, Colton, I appreciate the kind words. Oh, nice you was raised, you, 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 you only now, half black, huh? Tell me. What What's a name like on? Colton? It's about Mrs. Susan, like I had mentioned in the evening. The lady called my gay? pregnant fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. We oh. brought her in because she seemed very lonely. He's one of those feminine ass dudes. Living right next to our house. About a week ago, she disappeared. Gone. Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Disappeared for a week? Yeah, that's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual about her behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. It really freaked out Kayla. She went to stay with her parents for a bit. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. Bro, the way this dude is standing there is pissing me off, bro. Well, how are you even leaning like that? Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. But I gotta warn you. She can be one noisy little girl sometimes. I understand, Colton. Colton. I love dogs, and I'll start an investigation I, I right away. No way your name you is Colton. Away. And about the money, don't worry. We'll find Mrs. Susan. She's been like a grandmother to you two, right? Absolutely, Detective. She's been like family. We don't have much, especially Let's after do the token. buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything to us, you know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please, give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. Why does bro sit like... It, it pisses me off because it's just... It doesn't seem, like, comfortable. It seems so uncomfortable. Alright, I got a flashlight. Damn! Bro, nah, y'all, y'all are just nasty, bro. There's no way your maid disappears for a little bit and you just, you just decide you're not gonna take out the trash. Like, bro, you, you still can do chores. Like, your girl can't do no chores. She can't do no dishes. Oh, not me. And your dog definitely yours. This dog lazy as shit. I don't like the way my light flickering. That's bullshit. Okay, I seen a little bit. I know I need to collect the skis and shit. Let's head upstairs. So I'm not gonna be able to talk. But I'm still that? Gonna, yeah, that's just nasty. This, if if I ever go over a girl's house, now me personally, right? In my day, you know what I'm saying? Sneaking into a girl's house, I, I'd be like this on the staircase. <laughs> Is that the dog? <laughs> hey, 
Hey, big dog, go away. Now, before I was rudely interrupted, like I was saying, the way I would do it, high key. See, I'm not trying to, for some reason, stairs always creak when I step on them, right? I'm not even heavy, so I'd be like this on my tippy toes. So I'm, I'm like up one stair. But fuck that, bro. Why the fuck did the light flicker like that? What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. So I'd be like, bam, 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 bam. You start hitting that creek, you stop immediately. You step somewhere else. Bam, bam. It's like it's like stepping on a mine or some shit. Bam, 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 bam. Now, imagine you doing all that, right? You just did your sneaky shit on your 007 shit, and you just coming up. You finally make it there. You about to go into her room to clap, and as soon as you make it up the stairs, you get... You look at this. I'm looking her dead in her face and walking outside, and I'm making the most noise possible so her parents can hear me. One time I walk into a girl's room, right? Hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me find a door with a room. Excuse me. Okay, okay. So walk in, right? We on the bed. She throw on Stranger Things. Fun fact: I've started watching Stranger Things about four fucking times. I've never finished the first episode. <laughs> and and then she tell me, she tell me, we have to be quiet because if my dad hears you, he gonna shoot you. Man, I hit up Ant so fast. <laughs> like, bro, call me and tell me you need a... Yo, call me tell me you need an emergency, bro. No bullshit. Get me the hell out of here. We used to have a thing. Just call each other, make up excuses to get each other out of that situation. And it was mostly me that needed to get out of these situations, bro. What the fuck I do to deserve all that, huh? Hey! Uh, no way I'm scared of the thunder. I'm not a bitch like that. No way. Okay, I've been doing a lot of yapping. Let's get to work. Move the camera. So Shorty was... Shorty's pregnant, huh? How do I zoom in though? Did he say that? Hey! Hey yo Granny, I ain't playing that turning the lights off game. Where the lights off in this bit? Thank you. Hey yo Gr Granny! What the hell is wrong with you? Stop turning the lights off. Pussy. Matter of fact, close the door. Close the door, cause she playing too much. All right. What does that say? Ultrasound of a child. You're probably the client's fiance. But why is it written here? How long do I have to wait? What does that mean? Different date, same ultrasound. This time it says the truth will come out soon. I have a feeling this case is closely tied to the client's fiance. No bullshit. Granny, do you want to talk about it? No! I don't think she want to talk about it, big fella. I ain't gonna hold you. Now, me personally, I would love to talk about it. I think we could have some great conversations, Granny. I'm not even gonna hold you. Hopefully she doesn't get on that bullshit yet. Pretty sure I'm supposed to... Open the door. No way you gonna... Nah, I'm never closing another door in this game. Come on. Go. She done turned the lights off in this bitch. I 
Like I'm all way downtown. What are we looking for in here? I'm pretty sure I got an achievement, which means I found everything in that other room, so. Stop playing with your boy. Hold on, let's unlock. We need we need all all, all modes of cons. I can't open this door. Come on now. Bruh. We're leaving every door open. Fuck all that. Stop playing. Put that light switch at. On me, I'm not playing that shit. On me, we not. Yo, go away, dog. Damn. First of all, keep the flashlight on. A ton of women's laundry. What are they made out of plastic? That can't be comfortable. Oh my god, bro. That shit's gonna give me a fucking aneurysm. She thinks this shit's funny. God damn. Bro, these lights suck, bro. I don't think my flashlight got a battery. She overlooked it, or did she set it up? There's too much of it for it just to be a weird coincidence. I guess. I think that's everything in this room. I'm not sure though. I, every time I get that achievement, I just I just assume that room is done. Granny, please stop all that all that yapping. Either talk about it or don't. I ain't got time for you right now. What in the fuck is this? Another child victim? God, please me. no. These drawings are unsettling. Yeah, you got me fucked up. They have a child they didn't tell me about? Interesting. Oh, what are we what are we talking about here? Hello. Granny. Can I go on a computer now? What are we talking about? I have other things to do. Yeah, I don't like the way this. I don't like the way this dude talking to me for real. Final I notice. Late. No need to tell me that. Why does my flashlight feel the need to turn off every time? It's so hard to be young these days. No bullshit. You ain't gotta tell me. I hope everything works out for them. Not with these letters, they not. Is bro even working? You can put in no pain. Yo, and she just be turning off the lights? This shit's gonna get on my nerves. You play too much, dog. Um, what the fuck? You gonna say something about Same this? Symbol. You gonna say something about this, big dog? Weird symbol. Yeah. I wonder no if it could relate to the case. Yeah, I wonder. Okay, we finished this room. Alright, did I do every room? Okay, I did that one. I did that one. Is this the same room? I did that one. Okay, okay, okay. Did that one. I did that one. All right, that's every room upstairs. Now, do I need to do? See, here she go playing these games, bro. 
Stop turning off the lights. Yo, this dog, bro. Loki, I respect it. He just sleeping through it. He ain't got time for that bullshit. Leave the light open for him, because this shit getting scary. Now, the day I have to go into this bathroom um, by myself, I'm going to be tight. Well, not the day, but the second I do. There's no lights in this bitch. Oh, fantastic. Oh, there is. Lit! Okay, is there lights in... Is there lights in here? No, there's no light in here. Fuck. Am I looking for shit downstairs, too, or what? What are we doing here? I'm assuming on top of the table would have some shit that you want me to look at. the fuck? Nigga, is that a Kit Kat? Is that all you had? Bro, put a knife in... <laughs> you put a knife and fork out for a Kit Kat. Almost like my place. You ain't need to tell us that. burnt carburetors like something's been burning here yeah seems like it don't it yeah okay, I finished everything over here why do you turn off the flashlight every time big dog all right let's go see if we can uh Oh my god, I thought I saw something upstairs. I mean, as long as the lights is on, we we's good in the hood. No fucking way. If I have to chase down the password for another two hours again, I'm out. Okay. Forgot your password. Um, for the hundredth time for you to 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 I knew it was coming, and I still fucked it up. Okay, cat ski. Is there a number on the cat ski? It's three. Okay. Okay, we got all the numbers. Granny, I'm coming for that ass. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Granny. I shouldn't have used that language with you. I'm so sorry. I apologize for my 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 discretion. Let's 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 have a civilized conversation. Yaga. Sign in. Okay. Hold on. So the sign in right is eight dumbass. Eight nine. Come on, big dog. Eight nine two six three. Okay. And the password is zero. Seven, four, one, five. Let's go. What's good, Bella? Babe, is Kaylee home? 
Have you fixed your cam yet? I was thinking. Oh, about you a ho you, you know, a home wrecker and you know it too. Have some respect. Oh, for hey yourself. Bella. Yeah. Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? You don't even understand your own boyfriend's else, voice. Babe. Is everything okay? I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. Man, just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. Tired, huh? You sure? You sound like something's up. I was really hoping to come over. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, it's just not a good night and I need to take it easy. Can we catch up some other time? Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? We had plans and now you're backing out? Bella, it's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. You I don't even know your own boyfriend's- Catch up later. <laughs> Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. She probably with bro, she probably with bro for the money. And she don't even know his house overdue. Hey, come on, big dog. I turned around and bro had like final notice papers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I get up? I don't, I don't even want to fuck with this shit. Oh, we got cameras in this bag? Go away! He trying me on that bullshit. Oh. I'm pretty sure there was like night vision or some shit. Oh, there we go, big dog. Hell yeah. The dog is up. He in the bathroom. I bet. I'm there. How do I, how do I exit? Sensational. Brawler. Okay. The Pennsylvania Times. Remembering Miss Susan Crawler. A tragic loss sparks a community of reflection on mental health. On July 15, 2020, in a small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, uh, was rocked by tragedy by... Uh, was rocked... Wait, hold on. On July 15, 2020... Hold on, does this game take place in 2020? Did she die in 2020? Because bro said, bro said that he's that she only stopped showing up a few weeks ago. What what what's today's date? Cause you, she's, could you imagine if your housekeeper was a ghost for four years and you didn't know? First of all, you dumb as hell. Second off, that shit is crazy. Mm, I don't feel like reading all this shit. Hey bro, wake your ass up. What am I supposed to do now? She is on the prowl. Ah damn. She hunting. She young she hunting a young fella.
What is you chewing on? I'm back on the computer. ASAP. I ain't fucking with it. That is the sloppiest sloppy I've ever heard in my entire life. My lord. <laughs> Granny, you, you, what, who, what kind of freaky sloppy was you giving? Oh, you bend it, huh? Oh, oh my god. Like Wayne Rooney, Granny, don't try me. If the game doesn't pick up. If the game doesn't pick up sounds from your microphone or doesn't detect it, restart the game before you begin. Ah, we're not about to do all that. I don't give a fuck. Finally, bro. I got you can't God kill me. I got God, God on oh my side. Shut your mouth, <laughs> man. I'm joking. I'm joking. Malcolm. Hey, yo, Malcolm. What's up, my nigga? I'm here, Kevin. What's up, my nigga? I'm here. Oh! Yo, Granny, you hear? You hear? Granny, I'm like Wayne Rooney. I'll beat them cheeks up. Try me. Woo! I'm good, though. Let me get my motherfucking bearings together, homie. Colton, it's me again. Listen, just stay quiet for a sec, okay? I need to tell you something. So, I did some digging online, and guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago. Three years to be exact. Isn't this crazy? I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why have you seen her this whole fucking time? Something is not right here. It's like someone wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something, unless it's some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! <laughs> Why my boys do that, bro? <laughs> Great chill.
He's an idiot. Go away. Go away. Stop your mama. Granny, did you not not exist in the kitchen? Like I'm lost here. You piss me off with this shit, Granny. I'm I'm about to get tight.
can't kill me. I got God on my. I'm a like, roach. I don't, I don't die. die. I, I multiply. I got God, God on my on side. My side. That's what I thought. Fuck is the dog? Go away!
What's going on here? I'm Detective White. Just conducting an investigation. Detective, you say? I can talk now, right? Sheriff, I'm here on behalf of the new residents who requested an investigation into the disappearance of Mrs. Susan and the former occupant of this house. Mrs. Susan? Bless her soul. She passed away three years ago. Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? Well, Sheriff, sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned, and they just want some closure. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? Ah, yes, I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy at times. Just trying to leave no stone unturned, you know? I suppose I understand. But if you don't mind me asking, why now? Why all this fuss over Mrs. Susan after all these years? It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. And right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right then. I'll leave you to it, Detective. But try to keep it down, will you? Don't need the whole town up in arms over some ghost story. Eventually. That shit took stupidly long to find. Fuck my balls, Grandma. Got me hot. This fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. Well, look who's here. What you trying to 
do it. Whoa there, bucko. God damn, bro, you got armor on? I'm dodging Bitch that. Bitch and her sorry excuse for a family. Got what they coming to him. Yo, Grandma, help me out. Turn into Call of Duty. <laughs> what the fuck happened? I'm lost. <gasps> Stunning revelation, Detective Wyatt unravel, unraveled the dark truth behind the tragic deaths of Miss Susan and her husband. The culprit was none other than the Robert Holton, the mayor, the ma fucking the, uh, the sheriff, a man of authority and respect in the community. Jealousy and con jealousy had confused, jealousy had consumed him when Miss Susan chose another over him, leading him to commit the heinous act of vengeance oh damn sheriff holton's manipulation of the local news painted him as a hero disguising his own sinister deeds Ooh. wait but what happened though he orchestrated the fire oh damn miss susan's house with her family sat down for supper wrathlessly ending their lives but it wasn't enough he went further False narrative heroism to cover his tracks. He pretended like he was trying to save. Why? Bitch, I'm solving your stupid case. Leave me alone. Miss Susan, far from taking her own life as the fact. Miss Susan, far from taking her own life as the fabricated report suggested, was, was found have been pregnant. Oh my god. She was pregnant when the coroner examined her body. The ex the extent of the sheriff holds his depravity knew no bound knew no bounds. God damn! How is she old though? She died young, so how is she old? Yeah. Shut up! I'm trying to solve your case. Damn. Yet in the face of such darkness, Detective Wyatt emerged as the beacon of truth and justice. With unwavering determination, he pieced together the evidence, unmasked the Sheriff Holton's veil of veil actions in bringing him to justice. Well, the nigga did, so... When the police arrived on scene, Wyatt stood amidst the tears. A hero in the midst of tragedy. Despite the pain and sorrow, he resolved it. He, his resolve remained unbroken, a testament of his commitment to seeking out the truth, no matter how dark or daunting the path may be. Are we still reading, dog? Miss Susan, how she's old in the goddamn in in the game. How is she old? I don't get that. How does she age? How does she age as a ghost to an old lady?
Huh. Well, uh, thank y'all for watching, and yeah, later.